Welcome back to Cover Slave, the show where we play 30k and uh, we have never heard of 40k and we will disavow his knowledge. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. I don't know. It's not like that's what got me the hobby or anything. I'd rather just have 40 grand. Yeah. Uh, so we're doing 2,000 points again. Uh, I've got my Sons of the Sigil Light Iron Warriors. And today I'm trying something new. I have the Nemean Reaver, who I've made a knight's errant to take in my loyalist army. And he's got a secret mission that Jay has to foil, but uh, if he kills my guy or I fail my mission, I cannot win. I can only die. Uh, Jay, what are you doing? I'm rocking my 2,000 points of Alpha Legion. Um, what, what's the name of the army? I love the name. The Hydro Fire Enclave. Yeah. Uh, it sounds army. evil, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, fire, and, yeah, it sounds good, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, a lot of stuff I usually take. I mean, I'm, I'm sporting a Land Raider today. Well, Trying yeah. to make up a chunk of points. I don't know. Dusted it off. We'll see how it does. We'll be right back with the uh, armies and all that stuff. This is my 2,000 point Alpha Legion Age of Darkness. Uh, list. So we're going to start with HQ. So here's my Warlord. It is a Praetor armed with a Combi uh, Melta. Uh, he is in uh, Tartarus armor and is a Paragon Blade. He also has an Iron Halo uh, to give him that 4 plus and bonus save. He has the Warlord trait of Strategic Genius for all that all important rerolls to the reserves, which is pretty cool. And Steal the Initiative. That's pretty awesome. Alright, moving to troops. We've got a, oh, I should mention, Pride of the Legion is my right of war, which allows me to take these guys as troops, which is my vet squad. Uh, they have two power weapons, two Malta guns. Uh, there's a power fist and a power dagger on the sergeant, and the squad has Malta bombs. Moving on down here, we got a tactical squad. They're armed with uh, just the bolters. Uh, the uh, sergeant has a power sword. And that is it. And then the Terminators are armed with a Power of Lightning Claws on the Sergeant, three Combi Meltas, a Plasma Blaster, a Power Fist, and a Chain Fist. Uh, the, these guys have Power Swords. Uh, moving down to this squad here, this is my Tactical Support Squad, armed with four Plasma Guns and Bolter and Augury Scanner. Uh, Moving on down here to Elites, we've got the uh, Mortis Contemptor Dreadnought, armed with a pair of Carries Assault Cannons. Uh, let's see, there is a Rapier, a single Rapier, armed with Shatter Rounds and Splinter Rounds. There is, <clears throat> in the heavy support slots, we have a Scorpius, with uh, just bare bones, whatever it comes with. We have the uh, Land Raider, which is a dedicated transport for the Terminators. Uh, it is equipped with a Dilzer Blade, and uh, that is it. And then we have the P Vindicator, armed with the Laser Destroyer Dilzer Blade, uh, right here. Very lastly, we have a Predator, equipped with the Plasma Executioner Cannon, a Twin Linked Bolter, and machine spirit, and that is my army list. So this is my 2,000 points. Sons of the Sigilite count as Iron Warriors Army. Let's get right into it. So starting at the front here, I have chosen a uh, Knight's Errant character I upgraded. He is the Nemean Reaver, and he has a secret special mission I will now flash to all of you. I have selected that one. Yes, there, they're focusing. Okay, and uh, my opponent's not aware of that. So, moving on, my HQ guy right here is Warlord Traitus Conqueror of Cities, and he is a Consul Delegatus with a Power Sword and a Cataphract Eye Armor and a uh, uh Behind him, he's got his Bodyguard. I've got uh, Banner Bearer there with Lightning Claws, two guys with Chain Fists and Combolters, and a dude with a Power Sword and a Plasma Blaster. Flanking them, I have two units of, of veterans, uh, five men strong each, with a power fist and melt the bombs on both. Got a Contemptus Morticaris, uh, yeah, Contemptus Dreadnought, good stuff. Got two speeders, both with Graviton and multi melter they're separate. Got a Rapier over here that I've given the Shatter Rounds to, as well as the Splinter Rounds, so give those a try. Behind him, we have my Sakaran, uh, heavy bolters all around, Dozer Blade. And then we have a Daredeo Dreadnought with the Alios Missile Launcher. Also, both of these guys have the, uh, Pinning, Shatter, or Bolter, whatever they're called, Bolt, Heavy Bolter stuff. And then last but not least, I got my guys here, five of them. They are uh, 
Tyrant Siege Guard, and the Sergeant's got a Combi Melta and uh, a Chain Fist. Yeah, so that's my 2,000 point list. Pride of War, or uh, my Pride of not Pride of Legion. <laughs> uh, I'm stumbling over myself here. Uh, my, uh, uh, help me out, Jay. Right of War. <laughs> right of War is the console Delegatus one chosen duty, so it just makes these guys troops. And uh, yeah, if my Delegatus survives, you get a plus one victory point. If Jay kills him, he gets a plus one victory point for Warlord. So yeah, 2,000 points. So, Sons of the Sigilite, a.k.a. Iron Warriors deployment, starting over here. I've deployed the command squad there. Behind them, I've got my Contemptor Mortis with, uh, whatever, Contemptor or something or other, Karis. Then I've got my five-man unit of uh, Tyrant Siege Guard up top here. Got my Sakaran here. Behind it is my Dare Dio. Got a Rapier Battery here. My Delegatus here, joined to this five-man veteran squad. And uh, last but certainly not least, I've got a land speeder right there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we have normal ass deployment. So uh, pretty cool, pretty normal, no night fight. I'll be back with my reserves. Normal uh, reserve land speeders coming off my edge. I have a normal unit of veterans going off my edge. And I've got the Nemean Reaver who will be deep striking. The Alpha Legion deployment, we're going to start here. We have the Mortis Contemptor Dreadnought deployed normally here. Moving along over here, we have the other two vehicles, uh, the Scorpius and the Vindicator, chilling back here behind the church. And then we have Infiltrators, some ve veterans here with the Praetor, Infiltrated, Plasma Gun Squad, Infiltrated there, the Terminators and the Land Raider, Infiltrated, getting as close as they can over here, and then this battery, Infiltrated back there. And then we'll see you with the reserves. So we have... The Predator uh, is in reserve, normal reserve, just coming off my board edge. Got a tactical squad, also in reserve. This squad back here, the Terminators, they are in the Land Raider. See if my saboteurs have won me the game. I'm going to steal the initiative. Five or a six, here we go. Ba -ba boom There it is. And I get the first turn. We'll see you at the next interval. It is the end of the first turn, the Alpha Legion first turn, which I stole from Ben. Hey guys, I'm a shitty bastard like that. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna start over here. This squad that infiltrated with the Praetor just sort of moved up, adding pressure on the flank. Not much else. Vindicator here, snuggled up into position behind the church. Fired a shot, got a nice penetrating hit here, but he made his invulnerable safe. Down on the street, the Plasma squad and the Contemptor combined fire down here. Picked off two guys. Uh, not too much, just sort of softened them up. Put a wound on my Delgados. That's true. Plasma took a wound on the, took, did a wound to the Delegatus, that's pretty cool. Back here we got a little battery. They sneaked a shot, they have LOS, because I infiltrated and I'm a dirty bastard. And they were just in range, they fired the splinter rounds, the brand new splinter rounds. I managed to kill two Terminators with uh, rending and just normal armor saves. That was pretty cool. It wasn't even a really, that was just one blast I believe too. So over here, we have the Land Raider. That was all that's left, he moved up, popped a smoke, just getting to position. And then finally, we have the Scorpius. He fired a shot way over here and he landed. He did a nice four blast barrage, but it kind of landed just over here and I only did two hits. But I managed to score one wound. He had some cover. So yeah, that's just the way she goes. That is the end of my turn. We'll see you at the end of Benjamin's turn. End of Sons of the Sigilite, AKA Iron Warriors turn one, starting over here. So combined shooting from the Contemptor as well as the Derridio and the Sakaren, and some good Rens. Managed to destroy Jason's Land Raider. He saved a bit with the smoke, but wasn't enough. This guy's hopped out. My Terminator's engaged, taking one of his guys, and they were pinned from the, uh, the wreck. Moving on down. I also uh, used the Alios missiles, split firing, shooting Jason's unit here, but he's got his two plus guy up front tanking because he's smart. I moved a little bit here, six inches, with the De Delgatus and his unit of three veterans. They engaged with uh, that unit there, Jay's support plasma, but didn't do anything, that tanking bastard. This guy back here used his Sunder rounds and shot them at, uh, at Jay's deuter there, and unfortunately didn't do anything because he made his uh, 5 plus interval save. And last but certainly not least, over on this end, I moved 12 over this with my speeder, and I got first blood off of uh, Jay's laser vindicator there, that was Graviton goodness plus the multi melt -a. So yeah, um, not a terrible first turn, I have first blood so that makes me happy. We'll see you at the end of uh, 
Alpha Legion Hydra Fire turn two. End of Alpha Legion turn two. So I'm gonna start over here. So we have the little squad that infiltrated with the Creator. Well, I shouldn't say little, it's a normal size squad. Anyway, they took out, they got some retribution on the Lance Beater. They took him out with melted guns and a crack grenade. Uh, back here, we have a Scorpius who fired, targeting with its two blasts that it rolled onto this, but they scattered under here, scoring a, penet a penetrating hit and a glancing hit. So that's pretty cool. Over here, we have the Plasma Squad. They moved out and they just laid down the law against this squad that was here, killing the remainder of the squad and more importantly, the Delegatus, scoring me two victory points. So that's pretty cool. That's always great. The Contemptor Dreadnought that was stunned, or shaken, I should say. Uh, fired, snap firing, scored like two hits, one rend, killed one guy, not with the rend, but with an armor save, so that was pretty cool. Over here, this squad was pinned down after being thrown from the Land Raider. Um, they fired with the Plasma Blaster. Plasma Blaster sco scored two hits on a snap fire, believe it or not. Only scored one wound, and then he passed his cover save. What can he do? They fired their bolters, not, not too much effect. Back here, coming in from reserve, we have the Predator who fired using his machine spear. Upon these uh, Iron Havocs, or what are they called? Uh, uh, Tyrant Siege Guard Terminators. And killed one, I believe, or two. I uh, know one. He killed one. And then back here, the Rapier, firing again with its splinter rounds. Really cool. I like the splinter rounds. We found out that they're strength two and not strength three. Uh, killed one. And then we have back here, coming in from reserve, the Tactical Squad. They got nice and comfortable in that little alcove there on that objective. That's the end of the Alpha Legion turn. So we'll just see at the end of. Ben's turn two. At the end of Iron Warriors, aka Sons of the Sigilite, turn two. My reserves are all in. Starting over here. This gentleman here is the Nemean Reaver. He showed up, didn't uh, miss or didn't scatter because that's his special rule, and just chilled there next to the Planet Express sign. Move down. Uh, uh, these guys shot at the Turner squad that was here, in addition to shooting from him. And, and them, and they wiped them all collectively, collectively with their shooting. So that was uh, the Contemptor helping out and the uh, Town of Siege Guard. Moving down, uh, these guys came in from reserve here. These are vets. They moved on six and then they ran just to hide behind the Sikaran a little bit. The Deradio uh, split fired, so he engaged all the way over here, shooting my own wreck, but unfortunately cover was passed, so that's un unfortunate. And then my split fire for the uh, Alios missiles went way. There at the unit hiding underneath the floor, but Jay, being the smart individual he is, has his two plus armor guy out front tanking it, and he tanked uh, all three, so that was unfortunate. Um, the Sakaran was uh, forced to snap fire because uh, Jay got it pretty good. Did a little bit of shooting there, but I think I only got one guy, if that, or no. Somebody, oh no, sorry, didn't get any. This guy came in from reserve and popped Jay's uh, sergeant who was out front there, so small victories. Uh, you can't see it, but they're also in their difficult terrain bubble for the Graviton. Uh, last, but certainly not least, the Rapier used uh, the Shatter Rounds with Sunder. Shot them directly at Jay's uh, Dreadnought, and I got uh, a pen on him. He's immobilized now, so that's that's pretty good. That's, that's rough when it's a Dreadnought. So yeah, all my reserves are in, and uh, still anybody's game. We'll see you at the end of Alpha Legion Turn 3. End of Alpha Legion Turn 3. So we're going to start right here. So this squad, they're continually moving up the road. They ran, they got a nice 6-inch run. So putting the pressure on there. The plasma squad here continue doing their excellent work and they fired and they only had two in range but they managed to score the last wound on the rapier and killed one of the crew so that was pretty cool. This guy who got immobilized still managed to uh, hold his ground and fire upon this guy and take him out so that was pretty cool. While we're over here I'm going to mention this guy. Fired. Over here got some nice hits I killed one, uh, but Ben tanked with his two plus armor guy. So, what can you do about that, right? Okay, moving along. Over here, this rapier. Again, uses splinter rounds. Fired on these terminators. Got a good number of hits. Got two wounds. Killed one guy, so that's kind of cool. Predator back here. Awesome, awesome predator. Fired. And I just shwacked those last two tyrant siege guard back there. That was about it for my turn. So we'll see you at the end of Ben, Sons of the Sigilite, turn three. And Sons of the Sigilites, AKA Iron Warriors, starting over here. My Terminators moved about three, four inches away from the objective, trying to hide a little bit. 
and uh, my contemptor uh, mortis there moved up or whatever, contemptor, something like that. Uh, mortis contemptor. And he fired and uh, put the finishing touches on Jason's Predator. There was also uh, an assist there back here by the Dero Dio with some Sunder shots. And uh, Man Reaver Buddy is up there on an objective because he's a scoring motherfucker. Moving on down. So Karen moved up six. Uh, uh, the, the veterans were behind it and then ran a little bit. And it engaged with Jason's large veteran squad there, doing three or four, I believe, Jay? Something like that. Uh, back over here, my lone dude moved and then ran, I think, five inches to be there. I had also split fire with the Alios, targeting Jason's uh, plasma squad. Uh, he went to ground, and I got two of them, so pretty happy with that. Uh, we're basically beating the shit out of each other, so uh, see you at the end of Alpha Legion turn quattros. Alpha Legion turn four. Start down here. The veteran squad moved up when they were here. They fired all their Meltas at the Sakaran to no effect. Uh, they then charged it in my salt phase, finishing off with a jillion Melta bomb explosions. Fantastic. Back here, the pinned plasma squad uh, fired at the Sakaran. Uh, they didn't hit it because they were not firing. This guy here unloaded with his miniguns on the last Tech Green uh, Rapier crew uh, that was standing right there. And didn't do as much as we thought he would, but he failed one armor save, and he got him. All right, uh, moving on over here. The tactical squad came out of hiding and fired their bolters, scoring a single wound on that guy there, the uh, knight errant. Rapier back here, fired splinter round yet again. Here, I believe it caused one wound, but he passed the save. And let's see, I believe that's. Oh, and then we have the Scorpius back here. The Scorpius fired ooh, onto this squad, killing all but one. So that was cool. Yeah, that's it. So that's the end of Alpha Legion, turn four. And we'll see you at the end of Iron Warriors, turn four. And of Iron Warriors, aka Sons of the Sigilite, turn four. Starting right over here. This Dare deal backed off a little bit. Uh, he split fired with the uh, Alios. Targeting Jay's unit there, and then killing one. Coming back over here, he also took his main shots at the unit of veterans here. I think I capped two of Jay's veterans. That's pretty cool. Would have been pinning, but those fuckers are fearless. Moving over here, you can see my termies are kind of snug underneath the floor now, so Jay can direct fire them, but barrage is going to be tough. Uh, and the main Reaver is just chilling on his objective. And last but not least, Contemptor moved up, unloaded, killing fucking tons. It was like six of them? Seven of them? A lot. I, it was like four. Five. Five, five at least. Okay, a lot. Plus the sergeant. And then uh, moving back on towards the center, I ran my lone veteran guy up here, and he's now blocking off that door. I attempted to charge the wreck, but I rolled a three, so... Yeah, so interesting uh, game. Uh, we'll see you at the end of Alpha Legion turn five. End of Alpha Legion turn five. We're going to start over here, like we have every other turn. The vets, I'm just chilling in the street. They sort of reposition to try and hold down this objective a little better with the Praetor up front tanking wounds. Mr. Dreadnought here, he didn't have any targets this turn because he's immobilized, so he didn't do anything. He just sort of stood there. These guys, they moved six inches and fired their two plasma shots through the legs of this Contemptor at the Knight Errant, causing two hits, two wounds, and then two unsaved wounds. Very lucky. Then we have the Rapier back here, fired at the Knight Errant as well. Oh, he passed all the saves. These guys they actually didn't have anything to shoot because by the time they were about to fire, this guy actually fired and did the remaining wound to the Knight Errant. Vastly changing the uh, pitch of the battle. So I can no longer win. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think that's all that can be said here. So that's the end of my turn. So we'll see you at the end of Iron Warriors turn 5. The end of Iron Warriors turn 5 starting over here. I chilled there and scored an objective, moving up here. It was very unfortunate that I lost this guy here, which means I cannot win, but I may still tie. So I moved up six with this, and I shot Jay's uh, tactical squad, wiping them out, so he's no longer scoring that objective. Moving on down towards the center, Jay made an error. When he repositioned these gentlemen, he didn't block. I ran out, uh, moved six from the door, and then I ran, rolling another six, and managed to contest that objective, hilariously. So, uh, uh, the final... <laughs> the final score technically is 4-2. to two. I have one objective plus first blood and Jay killed my warlord and he's a Delgada so it's worth two. Uh, but because Jay killed the Nemean Reaver who was a knight errant, 
I just can't win. The best I can pull out is a tie. So even though I have more VP, it's really tied. So yeah, we tied. Not bad. We'll see you in the post game show. Welcome to the post game show. As always, I'm Carlos Worth, and this is a new Jason. Mm -hmm. You totally just watched us play 2,000 points of 30k. And you didn't fast forward because you're good people. You're just, incredibly attentive. You're the best. I thank you mm. very much. Mm. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna start right off the bat with Jack. Give me your MVP. MVP. Yeah. That's it's kind of you know what plasma squad. They cleared that squad out. They killed your your thud guns. Not every day you help kill a knight errant. They just yeah. They that was they, awesome. They that just was... fucking anything they shot at almost died. They were great. They were the main MVP. Okay. Uh, MVP. Um, I don't know, a lot of stuff did pull their weight, but you know what, I'm probably going to pick the Praetor, because he didn't really do anything. I mean, I don't, he didn't even really tank wounds. It's unfortunate the fucking lander can't hold more than 10. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I might give fail to that, but it kind of didn't. I mean, it's not that it didn't pull its weight. You it got you a lot of sixes. Than you, would have been you rolled here. a lot of sixes. I got lucky. Yeah. Uh, my epic fail, um, oh, I almost feel like the Tyrants. Because I didn't uh, put the most in the most intelligent spot. I didn't like take good advantage of their three plus cover save very often. And also that was Barrage a lot of that too. And yeah, they they helped, but I mean they did not survive. You killed them what turn three probably. I have to be more smart with them. And it's unfortunate that they're now a heavy support choice. Oh, That's so cool. unfortunate. <laughs> I'm glad you don't have six of those squads. That would that they would still be, score. That would be they still score. Squatsies. I can't complain. I totally said squads. <laughs> Uh, MVP is not easy, um, but we know who it is. It is my loving contemptor, Mortis, Mortis contemptor. Yeah, something the Mortis contemptor Contempt not, Mortis. is fantastic. Oh, and you know why? Because it carries the game. It's one of those things where there's like the illusion yeah. of choice. It's like I can get two last games or two multi melts or twelve Karis, but carry the game. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, he's just a epic. He, he uh, fucking yeah. he literally every single time I rolled a hit, I got eleven hits. Yeah. Every fucking time. Why he's BS five for 180 points, we'll never know. Uh, we'll never I know. I want three more of them. Uh, yeah. Uh, he just marched all the way up. Just the entire time, like not giving a fuck. Like, oh that's a lander, I'll shoot it anyway, because I can rend it. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Just laying down the law. Yeah. I think he did like three hell points to it. Maybe. Maybe. He contributed. <laughs> contributed. Yeah. Like just I love him, and he's the best fucking unit in the fucking game. Yeah. Uh, I will give props to your, uh, your uh, artillery. Very annoying all game. That one? Both of them. Both of them. Both yeah. of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, this guy kept getting splash damage and hitting, like, not his target, but doing okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like, I'll shoot this, or, or that. Oh, uh, that works. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, just, just like, throw it over there. You flip on the security, you do, like, two hull points effortlessly. Yeah, sweet. Awesome. Like, yeah. And okay. then I couldn't fucking touch it for two turns. <laughs> I was a gentleman about letting you do that charge. Whatever. You were. It was you fine. Were. It was fine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a very good game. Very good game. Night Errant was interesting. Uh, super fair in my eyes because I, I took the Nemean Reaver, who's the most survivable of the Knights Errants. So, even with that, uh, even with Toughness 5, even with Eternal Warrior, you, you know, Plasma's Plasma. It's not unkillable. No. Volume of Fire is still Volume of Fire. Yeah. And it's unfortunate because I'm very torn between putting him in a unit and not. If I put him in a unit, he can't do his cool no scatter deep strike snap fire the whole turn he's you know, coming in. So that's interesting. Yeah. And I really like how they worded it too, where it's like you can't win if you fail your mission. It doesn't say you, you ought to lose. Yeah. It just means you're going to tie it best. Yeah. So that's fair. I mean, basically, you take one or more Knights Errants, like you kill one of them, they cannot win the game. So people will be taking Tylos Rubio and all the other ones and then Garrow, but like they're pretty fair. Um, and I never revealed the mission to you, but you probably knew what it was. It was the objective one, wasn't it? Shocking, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, also the one, it's also the one that's like something of the sigillite, so it's just, oh. it's just totally in my nature. Oh, <laughs> okay. It was, it was for fluff reasons. Right. I, I was debating, um, I'm like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll just go for gold, because I want God one in your zone yeah, for three. Was, no. But then I'm like, what if I don't kill your unit in time? That's not good for anyone. And no. what if I'm not within three, so like you're still holding it kind of? So I made the right choice there. I just... I didn't need to move him around if I was going to stay there, so that was my mistake. I just fucking left him where he was. I think I'm going to do this with objectives more. What? Have a couple of them in the open. I, I think it's interesting. Mm. I mean, we I, I love how 7th edition works in the sense of we play it where, like, 
you you put your objectives, like you roll whatever it is, three to five objectives, yeah. take turn placing them, and then you roll deployments. So mm-hmm. you can't game it. You can't, I mean, you can still do cynical things, like put it in the, in the open or put it near an edge, but like, that might have your edge. Yeah. You know, when you put it in the open, you might have a shot on it, so yeah. fair. Really liking 30k, man. It's oh, I love it. This whole game was just like it was like an actual boxing match. Like you punch and then punch back and then punch and oh, punch and, back. Oh, and, and like, yeah. I think we our armies had some brain damage. The amount of beating that we both did. Neither of us have very much left. No. Very close game. You have five, six active models. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What would you think of the list? It's a good list. I think it needs a little bit more chunk, a little bit more bodies to it. It's got a lot of scary, nasty, like, machines yeah. and stuff. Once I start running flyers that just vape tanks as soon as they come on, it could be an issue. But if you have, like, a bunch of these uh, squads that I can't kill, I don't know. Terminator is real cool. Yeah. I... I'm still torn on the speeders. I can't say shit because the one speeder got me first blood, so that was pretty sweet. Okay. I, I I looked at it and said the one time I mean I was thinking it's like should I take armored ceremony on anything I'm like yeah and then it's like that's the one time you want it is these things but it's not gonna help you with no. any wires so no no but it's the multi melted I was worried about. yeah yeah, no, it's it's right? yeah, yeah yeah that's why I put the line right there I was gonna put it there yeah. you know, we'll change the battle I don't know your deployment was really good. Thanks. I tried to hold the center, but I don't know why I put the other speeder in reserve. I should have just started them both. Yeah, I didn't know why you did either, but I thought you had something I, playing. I'm like, oh, I'll counterattack, but it's like most of your shit was on the board. <laughs> so you had like one to reserve, right? Yeah. I just, I always fear like, the, I'm so used to there being drop pods or shit coming out of the sky yes. out of nowhere, units yeah. coming out of nowhere. So that was one mistake. I, holding the vets in reserve too, I don't know. My, my deploying the delegates here was fucking retarded. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I'm just I didn't really know what you were back. doing with the Delegatus, yeah. Uh, I was torn. It's that whole, like, he's a character, he can do things, and it's like, oh wait, he's a character, he's gonna die, he's gonna fucking kill Yeah, and I was like, I'll just hose them with plasma. Yeah. Yeah, I figured between these two, they should be able to deal with that, and it worked. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, like, I like that the Delegatus worked out in general. He's not expensive. His The trait that he can take for himself, the Chosen Duty, is pretty cool. Like, I don't need Terminators to be troops, they still score. Yeah. Um, it's just nice to not have to spend a million to get Pride or not Pride Legion to get uh, I keep saying like Lord of War in my head or like it's Right of War but yeah Right of the Legion Right of the Legion Pride of War uh, what would you change in your list then? Keep, keep the land or drop it uh, well once I get the flyer the flyers or assuming, one of the flyers, you, assuming you got it done yeah assuming I got even just one of the flyers done I would definitely swap it out yeah. Uh, maybe squeeze a few more things. I would love to obviously get it. Why don't you tell our lovely YouTube viewers what you made? So I have procured, uh, a long time ago, I got uh, three Avenger Strike Fighters, I think they're called. Oh, uh, I got a, a very good deal. Uh, I will not say it was a very, very good deal. And uh, All the tea in China. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so I sold one to my uh, friend Ben here. Uh, and uh, he has a very nice siphon now. And then with the remaining two, I recombobulated them into lightning strike fighters. So those are going to be fun. We're going to have some uh, some uh, some danger zone action. Uh, Krakens nice. are going to be a problem. Oh yeah, release the Kraken. I'm going to be saying that all game. It's going to be great. Release the Kraken. I can't wait till you kill someone's typhon. Like <laughs> it's going to be great. Sobbing and yeah. whining and complaining. And I'll be like, look at you. You can't even shoot back at me. You're just going to like <laughs> you're going to be like licking the tears off their face. And, yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, yeah, and they'll forget all their healing and targeting arrays, and I'll just, it'll be great, it'll be great. Um, totally random non sequitur, uh, uh, we were doing our tournament a uh, week or two ago, yep. and the nice gentleman at FDB, Frère de Bataille, mentioned excellent they store. had a, excellent store, mentioned they had a new product, and he showed to us, which we immediately saw the value in, huh. Let, allow, allow me to demonstrate, fair viewer, huh? so you can easily check out Line of sight, yeah. angles, angles, uh, uh, cover everything. You can even you can even creep it out from a model, so like you can still kind of use it. It's not. I mean, you'll still want a point laser to see for sure. It's essentially a laser that's just like a sheet, a blade. Yeah. It, it's very useful for firearks. It was like, like invaluable. We had to check a really close firearks on uh, on Jay's immobilized dreadnought. Yeah, like, just just out. But yeah. man, I can totally. It's made by. Let me see here. It's made by. Army Painter. Army Painter. It's called a target lock, and I think like anyone who plays 30k or f- 
the game that won't be mentioned. Hell, I think almost anybody who plays one. A, uh, a tabletop war game should have one. Yeah, yeah, I can see uh, the merit for a lot of games. Yeah. But, uh, man, like, this is just going to be... This is this is basically, like, like complete defoliant to bullshit. Like, you will you will melt away the plants of their ignorance because there's no arguing with this. It's perfectly objective. Yeah. Uh, I have nothing else to add other than Book 6 is pretty sweet. Book 6 is awesome. And those new splinters. Oh, my God. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. Splinter rats. Splinter rats. Yeah, they're, they're the shit. Amazing. I saw them on paper and I was like, shit, this is the way to go. And uh, you take that Warlord trait that gives uh, D3 units shred. Oh, World Burner or whatever? Dude, or? World Burner. <sighs> so shred with rending blast at a barrage. Wow. <laughs> I love the simplicity because nine percent of the time we taught this four, right? So it's just yeah. like, do you get a six? Yeah. You do. Yeah. Sweet. That's a rend. No, they're great. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Uh, and, I f and I just thought, you know, for that exact purpose, well, the idea was like, there's always a Terminator squad somewhere. There's only two plus saved and I just can't Hit them hard enough, and if even I can just scratch in you know, a one a turn, that's Which awesome. Is kind of what you were doing. Yeah, you got like one to two a turn. Yeah. I was like, man, this sucks, and I'm gonna yeah. make four plus intervals yeah. and I'm failing them. Yeah, like, fuck. Yeah, I knew you hate that. <laughs> it's hilarious too because I'm used to like I'm used to the bullshit tanking like I did with the one yep. the one sergeant from mm. your uh, uh, Sakaran from your fucking Scorpius. Yes. And all of a sudden, I don't have that ability to like yeah. do plus these bullshit. So it's like, yeah. horrifying. horrifying. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was a good game, man. Very close. Uh, good. Uh, I thought you had won it there, but uh, oh, I made a crucial one. error. Blocking, blocking, and more blocking. Mm -hmm. If you can get up in there, Ooh, rough. Mm -hmm. rough. I think uh, in my head, I, I don't even. Even it's funny because it doesn't even make sense of explaining. I was thinking of like objective secured or whatever, super scoring, right? But I'm like, you'd still be troops anyway, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's easy, easy. I had to, to see that one little guy who's lurking like a dick. So. Well, you know, you let your guard down for a second. I'm like, yeah, I got a subjective. Yeah, and then I'm... <laughs> at least it's a tie. It was, it was oh a yeah, well fought tie. No, I think I think what happened too was like I didn't even realize that I could win. I was just like, I need to kill that guy so he doesn't win, and then I did that, and then I was just like. The games go like that sometimes, both, but sometimes both of you think you're losing, or both of you think you're winning. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, that's just that's just further credit to 30k. So yes, man. Because there's oh my so God. many 40k games I've played where it's turn two and you know you've lost or you've won, and it's not fun. I just love that you can learn lessons from other people's stuff. You're like, wow, that is interesting. Maybe I'll try that. That's, you know? Know? that's kind of nifty. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. But she has an Alpha Legion player. I'm just like, that's cool. I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah. steal that special unit you have. Oh wow. Although I do have to take that right of war. No. That's for a later day. That's, later a whole, that's a whole other can of worms that we're going to get yeah. into. So we'll be hopefully back. We've been trying to do a weekly battle report, but it's not easy. So hopefully we'll have another one for you next week. And uh, anything else? Um, well, I hope I hope you enjoyed our show. Uh, we thank you very much for watching. Subscribe it. Uh, so, yeah, push, push that subscribe button down there. Please do it. Cover Slaves needs you. Don't forget the Patreon. The Patreon. We have a Patreon? No, we don't. Okay. We're, we have, a, we have a Twitter. Yeah, I don't use it. You can just mail us money, like in an envelope. <laughs> That's cool too, if you want. Just Nigerian. Or if you stuff. see me, just, uh, you know, buy me a hot dog or something. We're what good. you may not know is this this balding man here is actually a Nigerian prince. Yeah, I uh, have a lot of money that's uh, put away in. Uh, but he needs your people. specific help. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, thanks okay. for watching and uh, uh, yeah. yeah, stuff, stuff. Gods of war, may your hammer be mighty.